My people, bad boy don't voice out too. Bad boy don't break silence. Bad boy don't let us still all understand. Say, one of their agents don't buy for this matter of election. She say don't buy. Say they don't confirm. Say the 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 their agents don't buy my people. Now if the talk say this election is election supposed to be free and fair election. Why be say election for Nigeria not be free and fair election? Why be say the police they allow Agbero the oppressed people people they fear to vote people will come vote now many of their people go home with injury many self no go home many go to hospital direct now bad people don't confirm out to us say one of their uh, agents their leader inside labor party don't buy you say that you don't buy my people hmm. i go like me gonna go here from bad people they gonna see what thing they happen say this election of 18 eh, no be smart you know it can't be like say eh, the way that they, they do this election eh, it can't be like say that they make people they fear say anything election no they work for nigeria it be like say election no they work even if they vote say they vote self they know they can't sound. so my people make gonna go here from body for more over lagos we are getting distressing reports of voter intimidation voter suppression you know really in a papa one of our agents was shot and he's dead. And the worrying thing about this is that INEC and the police have shown to be complicit in this. Now, the reason why we're why we're doing this video is it's important that INEC and the police realize that they are provoking they are provoking Lagosians right now. And if tomorrow, if tonight Lagos catches fire, it should not be because it's our fault. Is because they did not do the right thing. INEC still has hours to make do the right thing. A lot of people will be able to, with the help of security agencies, calm down a lot of areas. But a lot of areas are still under intense attacks by thugs and hooligans of the APC. I call on INEC, most especially, and the police, not to set Lagos on fire. This is a state that houses 22 million people. Having that many people angry because of their because of their disenfranchise is not something that Nigeria needs right now. So I call on the INEC rep and everybody involved in this election to make sure they do the right thing and create at least the perception and the actuality of a free and fair election. This was the street where I was raised, right? You know, behind you is um, Elise. Nam Jaziku built this house. This is where I used to live. I was one of the first settlers in this in this area of Lagos. And it's a community that has been built based on, you know, the Lagosian, the indigenous Lagosian is welcoming. He's not tribal. He's exposed. And that's why Lagos State could become the center of excellence. But unfortunately, the APC government takes its strength from division, violence, intimidation. And this is what they've done for so many, for almost two decades. So by God's grace, the will of people will prevail. And this government that gets its validity based on voter intimidation will be a thing of the past. How would you... From the information you got from your party agents, how would you describe and assess this uh, conduct of the there, There's been a lot of targeted voter suppression. Currently now at VGC, the polling agents do not want to go into the estate. Instead, they are trying to get the people to come to the express, where they've colluded with thugs to harass and disenfranchise them. So that's already an illegal thing because INEC, the polling have an address, they have a location, and it is not on the highway. So we are working to respond to that. But you see, this just puts the entire exercise, you know, the credibility of it into question. You have a situation where in Alimo show in Iba, till 10 minutes ago when I checked, polling materials have not arrived. So you find that everywhere that we are strong and we show strength, either polling materials are not yet to arrive. You have a situation where in Alimo show the polling, the polling agents, not well, the polling um, escorts, the EOs for the polling are saying that they were not paid the last time, so they are not going to the field. But how, how does that concern us? INEC has been funded to do all of these things. So you know it's a ploy just to 
tries to manipulate the election. So, it's about okay. to win. like I said earlier, if you don't win this election, will you definitely congratulate the winner? It, in an election that, see, you must win and win well. Though. I'm not somebody that comes out and pulls back punches. You must win and win well. There must be transmission of votes, which is the electronic procedure. There must be a situation where this voter intimidation is corrected, right? And there must be an, a clear attempt by INEC to actually have a credible election. If that's not the case, I'm not congratulating someone that has his mandate from voter suppression and intimidation. Why would I do that? I'll go to court. Okay, so what message do you have for your supporters and the Lagos president this ongoing election? This is a fight for the soul of Lagos. It's a fight to take away voter intimidation, voter suppression, a mandate that only has credibility and validity in violence. It's not by performance. It's not by the people actually wishing them into position. It's by violence, intimidation, inducement, and a group of people, a new group of people are coming out and say enough is enough. They want a government that's accountable to them. They want a government that works in their interest, not the interest of a, a state capture, right? And that's what you saw in the last election. And by God's grace, that's what you see again what today. Do, what do you have to tell INEC, please? What do you have to say to INEC? INEC must transmit votes electronically. We have seen, we've gotten reports from Osborne too, from several other places where the beavers has already been preloaded. And that's unacceptable, right? We are not fools. Right? And we're going to resist all of that. So whatever intimidation that they want to do, by God's grace, the will of people will prevail in this election. It's a battle for the soul of Lagos. It's a battle for a government for the people. This election is a battle for the soul of Lagos. It's a battle where we want to put in a government for the people that works for the people and is focused and centered on the interests of the people, not the current state capture that has happened in Lagos for the last... My people, now the video now on a new watch really so. On a see what it happen for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make sure let me know what it on. I for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make sure subscribe. So that you will not miss any little edges where they upload. And I'm about to like a little bit of 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 a little bit of